function. So here, you know, what we will see here, the mixture of color dye, it was separated by chromatography. So the dyes, they were insoluble in water. They have already told us that it is insoluble in water. So means we cannot use the solvent water other than water we have today. So here, what do they say? The chromatogram below shows the results of uh, 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 separating the mixture and the chromatography of three known dyes, one, two, and three. Here they have given us on the diagram, label the baseline, which is origin. So what is the baseline? This is basically the baseline. So we can label it here. This is our baseline. Then, you know, name the solvent that could be used in this separation since, you know, they have already told us that water, it is not a good solvent for this since, you know, these are insoluble in water, then, you know, we can take the example of ethanol or acetone since, you know, they are better solvents than water. Then how many dyes were there in the mixture M? In mixture M, we can see one, two, three. It has been uh, divided into three. So we can say that, you know, sorry, if M has three dyes in it. Now, you know, next, what do they say? What are your conclusions about the identity of the dyes in the mixture M? In mixture M, when I see this dye, it is also there in one. So it means I can say that, you know, the dye one is also present in M, right? Then this one, yeah, not there. So, okay, this is not present. Then I see, yeah, the two also not here. So it is not present in M. So I can see that, you know, two is not present in M. I look at number three. So three is also present in M. So how I am gonna get three marks for this question? I can say die, die one and three are present in M, this is one point. Okay, die one, or die one and three are present. Then two, you know, when I say two is not present. Okay, two is not present. Also, you know, I can gain third mark by mentioning this unknown die. I'm talking about this die. So it means I can also say that there is an unknown die present. Unknown die present. Unknown die present, right? Okay. Then, you know, after that, the last one, what I'm going to say, how could the reliability of the results be checked whenever we are talking about the reliability of the experiment, we always go for repeating the experiment. This will give more reliability. This is one way repeating the experiment. Other than that, what we can do, we can use different solvent since it is use a different solvent. So like, you know, we can use one with ethanol, one with uh, acetone and like that. Okay. And also, you know, what else we can do to increase the reliability is to measure RF value. That also going to bring more reliability of the experiment. Claire?